This your man. You know what? I'm gonna go with Mar Rashawn. Now you say my main man. This your main man. Keep it clean, Ray. Shell Ray Ray. Check out the meal. One of my favorites. Salmon, spinach, and rice. It's not my favorite, but it's one of my favorites. Yeah. So yeah, let's go ahead and get some of this here. Mm-hmm. Y'all already know what time it is. Look at that spinach. Spinach don't cook down in there, man. I swear I just put a bunch of spinach in the pot. Then cook down in there. Mm-hmm. That's how your salmon should look. Put my hand on one drop. That's how your salmon should look. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna kill that. But um, you know what? I know I'm gonna come on this thing. I give you the whole rundown of how I'm cooking. I show you the sneaker collection. I show you new cops and all that. But you know what? It's time to do something a little different. I just want to talk about different stuff. And one of the main things on my mind is friends, friendship, all that. And uh, I'm going to take this thing to the origins. Uh, it had to be like, who cares? It was back in 97 when I was a kid. And uh, the reason I know it was 97 because that was your big year biggie that passed away. And I remember this one guy used to work at the gym. And uh, we had talked about when he had passed away, but this poor particular guy, I can't even remember his name, saved my life right now. And uh, he used to always come and challenge me and ask me questions. He was like, uh, if yo, if yo, if you buy your friend something, do he owe you? I didn't really understand what he was saying. He said, look, check this out, young fella. Friends don't owe each other. Friends look out for each other. So if you buy your friend something, you shouldn't have to worry about the payback. So that always stuck with me throughout the years. And um, another lesson a, a wise man told me, he was actually, he don't even know he was my mentor, but I was actually being schooled by him. He don't even know because I never put that title and say, yo, you my mentor. But when I was in college, Coach Pritchett at Atlanta Metro College. Uh, you know, coach a lot of all Americans, all that kind of stuff. If you're from Atlanta, you should, and you know basketball, you should know him. But uh, I took a couple of his classes while I was over there, and uh, he used to just talk about the game of life. And he said uh, something that stuck with me. He said, uh, "A lot of y'all don't even have friends. Y'all think your buddies are your friends. You'll be, you're a lucky person." in this world if you got one friend. Just always say that. And then he'll explain. And he'll say, your buddy's there when everything's going good, having a good time, kiki, all that good stuff. He said, but when you get caught in one of those moments, and it might be an embarrassing moment, all them buddies, they're gonna scout. And if you got one person that's still with you, that's your friend. And those are the things that I take and I, and I and when I'm dealing with people and learning friends, I still got some friends from childhood, still got some friends from high school, still got some friends from college, the whole nine. But when I evaluate friends, I evaluate the money game. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I ain't gonna be your come up. You ain't gonna pimp me, you ain't gonna use me. And I ain't gonna use you. So we ain't even gonna play with the money issue. Um, and most of my friends, they already know that. We don't even have them type of issue. But outside of that, I'm looking to see what type of person you are, how you treat people. Not how you treat me, it's how you treat people in general. And that's the thing about it. I like to surround myself with people that treat people fair. You know what I'm saying? Not, not always talking negative on the person and all that kind of stuff. Try to keep a positive outtake. Like some of the guys that I do my show with, everybody grown TV, some positive guys. Uh, I'm in this hoop group with a lot of positive guys. 
on IG. That's some, that's some conversation y'all won't even get to hear. But we go on and on talking about basketball, all kind of stuff. Um, and then I think got some friends just, you know, that I grew up with, you know what I'm saying? We used to share, you know. And uh, I think a lot of times when I watch people and I watch how people move, I be trying to figure out, man, that person's a friend of you, but you ain't a friend of that person's back. How can you live with yourself like that? You know what I'm saying? I ain't even know. I don't need to take no bike. Think about what I just said right now. A person can be a friend to you, but you're not a friend back. They give you everything. They time, they energy, the whole night. Be there for you in every moment you need them. But the minute that person has a moment, you know where to be found. So before you act, before you want someone to be your friend, can you be a friend to a person back? Is it always about you? Is it about other people sometimes? So, you know. And I don't even want to keep rambling, 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 but I just want to hit y'all with that real quick. You know what I'm saying? Learn who your friends are, young fellas, young ladies. Learn who your true friends are. Don't let people humiliate you. And don't humiliate others. And I think if we learn this stuff, we'll get towards a better society, ultimately. Ultimately. Because right now, it's a lot of competition amongst each other. That's a recipe for disaster sometimes. If it ain't friendly competition. And we know what friendly competition is. Sports. But yeah. Oh, one more thing I'm going to leave with. Finally, you get a little justice. So I, I would say my real spiel on that, but I don't want to go on and on and be like everybody else, but I'm going to say, hey, finally, we got some justice. Peace.